Come here, Globe. Move that like that. There. Let's see what happens. I gotta look for a bunch of things today. Hey, yesterday, well, I'm sitting here in South Africa, so right now, it's still today for you as I'm recording this. This is a Thursday, but this happened on Wednesday. But I don't worry about that. Time zones, you know? I think we're at, we're at like six, seven hours ahead of the United States. Depending on what part of the coast you're on. Okay, where we talk? Oh, there was a hearing. You know, reparation, I don't know, H.O. 40 or something here. Congressional Black Caucus had a hearing. Oh, but I want to show you something. Now, people at the hearing, you know, trying to get your coats, uh, you the man of what? Tony Hughes, I met him one time. I shook him, Tony Hughes, coat's hand one time. Um, uh, Julianne Malvo, she's probably an economist. I met Julianne Malvo at a, at, a, at a conference one time. We were, I was a lot younger. Anyway, the, the, she's a piece of work. <coughs> And you will recognize that kind of class of people and that keeps kind of piece of work I'm talking about if you understand what I'm talking about <clears throat> No, she wasn't successful in seducing me just to let you know. Okay, let's see uh, Here's what I'm looking for Whoa, uh, Right there uh, my money. Uh, Come on, move out the way uh, Hope my thing don't fall out. Okay Film It's called Mandalay and it's a film by, uh, is, is Lars a Swedish? I don't know, he's someone Swedish, I think. Uh, filmmaker Lars von Tier. It's called Mandalay. A lot of people is in it. See, Danny Glover's in it. Joyce, Br uh, Ron Howard's daughter, who's in Jurassic Park, you know. Jurassic, oh, that's right, in Jurassic Park. Um, not the original Jurassic Park, you know, the other ones, whatever have you, three, four, five, whatever it is, or four, five. Uh, this is the, this is the brother Oh man, he was in Black Panther, you know, with the with the they put the lip plate on him like that. But I know him from um, from Ghost Dog, you know, the Forrest Whitaker film. I gotta get a copy of that amazing film. I love that film. He's the guy that played the the ice cream truck guy. And of course, you have Danny Glover. Now, the important thing about Danny Glover, let me explain this something to you because I've you known Danny Glover for a long time. No, I mean, you know, that doesn't matter. Sleep with sheep. That's his favorite thing. Hey, Peter Gallagher, keep quiet. My wife's over there with her son. He's visiting, and they're both in the bed together. I don't know. What anyway, I'm trying to keep quiet. Anyway, the point is, so Danny, um, uh, so it's, um, um, it doesn't matter. He made a lot of films. He made a lot of films. But this film was very interesting. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Longville Tear. This is part of a it's supposed to be a three-part trilogy. I think the first one was Dogville, the one with Nicole Coleman in it. And what they do is they draw. The reason why I was drawn to it is because they draw. They sort of, um, the, the film just uses lighting, of course, great acting, and, uh, and, 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 and props, I guess you would put it that way. Like everything is, it doesn't matter, see the film, you see what I'm saying? But here's the thing, the premise of the film is what's important. The other thing I have to advise you when you see this film, you must, I say you must, sit through the entire, once you have to sit through from beginning to end, including through the closing credit, it's very important, you have to experience the film unwrap, unfolding and everything happens and then the punchline, this is the, I think the people miss this about this film, which makes it a great film, is the closing credits, the song. I'm not going to tell you what it is, I'm not going to tell you who it is, just you get the name, but it's an incredible song that's played with the montage that they play at the, at the end that just brings it together. It's unbelievable. If you were to have some humanity, you'd probably be shed some tears in that thing, but that's not. But here's the premise of the movie, which is very interesting. The premise of the movie is simple. Uh, what happened uh, with Uncle Tom's cabin when all the slaves ran, you know, got away, right? Well, they got away, and, you know, Sambo was still there trying to rat people out, you know, that's the, that's the, when they say Uncle Tom is a stupid thing, Uncle Tom was actually a hero. Sambo is like the villain. <laughs> he's the boy. He's the turco. He's the you know, the guy that goes 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 against the interests of the of the slaves that's trying to get away and stuff like that. Anyway, but um, so the premise is basically that this Uncle Tom who protected the the, the the escape of the slaves, he's what he's what he did was he took over the plantation. You know how? I'm gonna get to this one time. I'm gonna do this thing about the John, the name John, and what it means for slavery. But. So this film is basically the, uh, Donald Glover. Donald Glover. Don, why am I doing that? I guess he said that. Uh, Danny Glover uh, plays uh, base, basically Uncle Tom. If Uncle Tom stay, let's put it that way. And it's fascinating. That's all I said. That I would rather that I would never. No, this matter. So, so I want to say that only because Danny's done a lot of things, but Danny's an actor. 
Don't get me wrong, actor activist. But but as an actor, when he did that, when he did this role, he had to do a lot of research on slavery, I suppose. So maybe he has some expertise. But does he have more expertise, right? In fact, I think that Lars Rantier could have been on that, could have been go to could have been testimony on that on that panel because as a director, he really got to research. So he must have really known a lot of stuff, and he he, he pulls it off. So my point is this: anybody going to be on a panel? I could be on a panel. Who do you want on a panel? You want people who have the expertise in what you're talking about. I mean, laser point, expertise, what the expertise word means. They didn't have the best there. The most obvious one missing was uh, Claude Anderson, but I won't get into all that. But there's a lot of other people missing uh, that they didn't do it. Uh, uh, my, my sister McCarthy, she's just a lot of, anyway, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff to be done, but I'm glad that the hearings happen because people can react against it or react or, or about it, and, you know, we move to the next level because it's a fight. Just want you to know this, me wanting to let you know, me being T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect as I drink my tea. This is um, that spice chai. I really like that. From my desk of the ADOS, letting you know what I only suspect as my wife is just trying to clap and hang and, and whatever. Go ahead, baby. You can make it. Yes! <laughs> American descendant of chattel slavery. Much.